Don't you just hate it when someone cuts in the queue in front of you? Wouldn't you love to have a killer put down that just cuts them dead in their tracks? How about something like, I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush too. I have cancer, so if you could just move your stuff off the counter so I can pay for my irises and plant them before I die, that'd be great. <laughs> Brilliant. I love this woman more and more. And that is the opening scene of episode five of The Big C, obviously. Um, Laura Linney playing the 42-year-old Kathy, who is diagnosed with terminal cancer, stage four. Um, the opening scene quickly moves on to the next scene, which is one of the most excruciating scenes that you can possibly see on television. Mother walking into 14-year-old son's bedroom whilst he's um, busy sampling the uh, more hidden joys of the internet, shall we say. And I think we all know what I'm talking about here. How excruciatingly painful. Um, although Kathy handles it brilliantly, um, and after a brief pause outside to gather her wits, she uh, marches straight back in, opens up his laptop, and insists on um, watching the pornography with him whilst giving him a running commentary about what women really want. Um, of course, this just makes him die a little bit inside, as any 14-year-old boy can account or can attest for, I'm sure. But it actually sets the scene on an episode which is pretty highly sexually charged. Um, Kathy is sort of caught between wanting to leave a legacy both with her son and also, um, you know, with her students, extended students as well, um, to leave a legacy about, you know, how to do the sexual thing right. But at the same time, she's kind of discovering some sensual um, needs and, and sort of um, ideas of her own that, that she never really knew existed underneath this sort of very um, straight-laced soccer mum exterior that she's been wearing for all of her life so far. So um, a sexually charged episode where Laura, sorry, Kathy, learns more about the woman inside of her and it ends with a pretty steamy scene in her classroom. <laughs>